What is up YouTube? Today we are gonna be painting up a rainbow trout bait. So what we're gonna start with is adding some white to the underside at the belly, uh, just a base white. And then on the back, we're gonna do just like we did in the brown trout video, we're gonna add black to the back so we can get that nice trout green at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep it and then we'll continue on. All right, so I have the base coat white on the underside of the belly. Now we're gonna add that pearlized white like we've done in the other videos, just to give it that really nice rich belly color. Just gonna start out here on the bait. Just kinda do a couple passes, just to give it the shine. Should be good. Bait's been painted up with that iridescent right on the bottom, and we've heat set it. So now what we wanna do, and kind of an important step, is on these holographic baits, they have this kind of foil over the side. And you can see as we've been spraying, there's a little bit that's kind of creeped down the bait. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna flip it vertical, take my thumb, and I'm just gonna kind of rub some of that paint off. And you'll see it kind of lighten up, uh, get more silver on there. What this is doing is just peeling off that very thin layer that I don't want on my bait so that it will still flash really, really bright in the water. So now we have a perfectly painted belly, but then we have a lot of flash there on the side. So don't forget that step. Now it's time to spray the black on the back of the bait. Again, like other videos, we're gonna lower the PSI. We're down to about 20 at this point. Uh, let me crank it up just a hair here. So now we wanna spray evenly across the back and let a little overspray go on each side of the bait, unlike we did on the bottom. So what I'm gonna start with is the head. I'm just gonna kinda get a nice little even gray going on over the sides of the bait. I have reduced this black so it doesn't go too, too dark on us. Just get kind of that nice, even spray on each side. A little darker on the head, a little lighter on the sides. That right there is looking pretty good. All right, so now we got the bait turned to the side. We're gonna add just a little bit of black to the face and then a little bit on the side here. Not a ton, just that much. Just enough to kind of get it a little darker there. Ready to add the next color to this bait. Um, again, going against the grain here, we want to usually go light to dark on a bait. Um, but in this case, we need to add kind of a violet line right above the lateral line. Um, that's kind of the blue that you'll see on a traditional rainbow trout lure or the, the little bit of purple that you see right above the pink line on some of the fish pictures. And uh, we want to add that in first so that the pink can kind of overlap that. We're going to add a very light, thin line of purple. It's going to look darker than it really should, but we're going to kind of clear that up once we get towards the end of the bait here. So low PSI, low pressure. I'm going to go very slowly and just add a little bit of that violet to the bait right above the lateral line going almost to the black of the fish. All right, now that we have that purple line in there, we're gonna go ahead and reduce some pink, just like we did the purple, and we're gonna go over the middle of the purple, kind of like we're mowing grass. So about halfway up the purple, go all the way down with the pink. You're gonna make this line a little bit thicker, but you still wanna leave some silver at the bottom of the bait there. So now it's time to change the color of the trout on top from this black to a green. So we're gonna go ahead and add again in that fluorescent yellow that we did in the last video. Something really bright. We're gonna spray that over the top. That's gonna turn it the green color we're looking for. So let's do that now. We're gonna go ahead and add the fluorescent yellow to the back of this bait. Now you're gonna notice it turning green pretty quickly, but that's okay. A trout without spots is actually going to be a lot greener than you would think because the, the black spots really darken up that color and give you the illusion that they're darker green. So we're gonna go ahead and, and fill up the back here and make it you know pretty green. So let's go ahead and apply. You'll see it start to change pretty deep there quickly. That's kind of the color that we're looking for right there. We got most of the bait done, so now we're gonna really make it come to life by adding its spots. Again, same thing that we did in the brown trout video. You wanna use things that are bigger or smaller uh, circles and just kind of pepper the whole thing. So let's start at the top and do kind of the back and head and then we'll work our way down the bait. All right, so there it is, mostly done. You can add more dots if you want to, but I think that's just about enough to, to really attract fish. 
Um, it looks pretty realistic. There obviously has a bigger pink line than what you'd find in a normal trout of that size, but you've got the dots, you have the colors, so that's something that I think a fish would find pretty real and uh, definitely attack. We're gonna do the same thing we did the other day with the eyes. We're just gonna add some super glue right into the eye socket. And we're gonna go ahead and stick the eye in its place. like that. All right, all that's left is to add the epoxy to the bait. So again, long strokes, nice and even, thin, and uh, this will really darken up the back of the fish just like it did with the brown trout and give it that final color and, and realism. All right guys, so we finished the rainbow trout. It's got a little bit more pronounced colors than we had thought. Um, in the beginning, but I think that'll help its fish catching ability. If you guys like the video, please comment and like down below. And also don't forget to subscribe before you leave. We're gonna come up with a few more patterns and put them up here for you guys all to enjoy. Thanks for watching CO Fish Pro today. You can do me one favor before you leave and click this subscribe button right here, and then you can move on to this video right here. Welcome to CO Fish Pro the channel. My name is Chris Edlin, and we aim to take the mystery out of fishing. Or that one over there. Yes. Wow.